<clears throat> All right, today's video is just a talking video. We're going to talk about brainwashing <laughs> and we're going to get a little bit into death. Uh, and of course, I'll talk about future videos. And uh, you know, I, I've never done this before on a, on a video. Smash that like button and see if something happens. I know only about 15 of you watch these videos, but uh, I wonder if we did that, if it would actually get 16 people. <laughs> you never know, because every other YouTuber always says, smash that like button, smash that like I didn't ever want to do that, because that's not what my channel's about. I'm not here for profit, but I, I wouldn't mind having a few more people watch these videos. Anyway, so uh, the first topic I wanted to get into that I think would help you the most is let's get into death one last time. So, uh, you know, one of the things that I, I did, and if you've attended funerals, I mean, the thing is we learn through life's experiences. And that's why, you know, the young people, they're always at a disadvantage to, to us older, wiser, more experienced uh, <laughs> people. Or sometimes they have an advantage because they don't know, you know. But, uh, I, you know, funerals I've been to, like at my brother's funeral, we had a boom box and we played some John Denver songs, you know, and uh, and then, um, you know, other funerals, there's been other ideas, you know, where some some funerals I've been to at the at the wake now, uh, they might have had a, a, a montage. I think my mom put together a montage of photos and had it professionally uh, uh, put together and uh, just a series of pictures that, you know, one picture would play on the screen and the next and the next. Uh, but uh, so I wanted you know, a combination of those things at my funeral. I just wasn't sure how to accomplish it. And that's why I haven't posted a video in a while. So uh, I've been looking at this uh, software for quite some time. Boy, did you see that butterfly? <laughs> Thought he was gonna hit me in the nose. Uh, and uh, OBS Studio, check it out. OBS Studio, uh, it's a downloadable uh, freeware or uh, open source. I imagine you can make a contribution to the project, and I certainly will. I got to figure out how to do that. That's the way that uh, it, you know. Usually, it's called donationware. And uh, but anyway, I downloaded it, and the the whole reason that I was playing with it was, well, I wasn't sure if I could. You can actually do streaming with it, but that's not my purpose. My purpose was to be able to record songs off of the internet. Now. Believe me, that's a violation of if you if you use those songs for profit. Like if I posted it on my YouTube channel, for example, uh, you know, even though I captured the songs off of YouTube, and they're free to, to listen to there, right? Uh, it, it doesn't matter. I can't I can't reuse that material for for any sort of uh, gain, or even to you know to put on uh, Rumble or any place like that. But for a death video, okay. What I used it for, and it was actually, if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. And what you can do is you can go in there, and by the way, it, it, I, all I had is a laptop. And you do need a fairly sophisticated laptop. You can't do this with an old piece of crap laptop, you know, that, that you bought 10 years ago. You know, you need a fairly modern laptop that you, you spent over $1,000 for, I hate to say it. You know, you might be able to do it with a lesser laptop. I don't know. You can play with it. But anyway, so uh, all you do is you set the software to record your display and then i would go to youtube in another window and i would play the music video and then i would switch back to obs studio well I actually I'd start recording on obs studio switch over to the window play the song from youtube capture it to a file an mp4 file and then i would use my editing software edit that video and i did that with a bunch of different songs and then you can use um, another free software, uh, DaVinci Resolve. Okay, now I've got the paid version, but you could use that to edit and put those music videos together. Now I understand I'm talking a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of time in my case and, and yours too. And, and by the way, that's another thing that you can do with the um, OBS Studio is now, you know, in the future, uh, I might start making some cybersecurity videos where I can show you on the computer screen uh, what I'm doing, so you can you can learn along with me uh, in in a fashion. Now there's there's all kinds of YouTube videos on how to use OBS Studio. Uh, a lot of them are really old, and uh, I didn't find uh, not too many of good quality. So maybe I'll make some videos on OBS Studio. Uh, but you know the things I'm doing are fairly unsophisticated because the people that I watched they either went so damn fast I couldn't 
follow along or they got into a lot of things that I just wasn't interested in. I mean, my whole purpose was just to be able to record the display, you know, which was music videos, capture them to files on the disc. And then of course I, you know, I already knew DaVinci Resolve obviously, because I make videos. So that, you know, and then, so it was easy just to combine them all together into a, a I call it my death video, right? And I, uh, but here's a, here's another thing about death that I wanted you to think about was uh okay so so i finally made this video and guess what it's it's over 16 gigabytes in length and i had some old 16 gigabyte usb drives that i was going to put it on well it wouldn't fit so i went out to amazon and it turns out you can pick up good lord i think i bought five 32 gigabyte usb drives for 20 eight dollars <laughs> i was like damn those things have come down in price huh? if you get the cheap ones i mean you know i i could have gotten 64 but you know so why did i go do that well obviously i've got to give the, the video to the funeral home and then also i'm going to give it to my lawyer who is going to settle my estate which is another thing about death that you might want to do is uh you know my, my law firm is going to handle the distribution of my estate to my charitable foundation uh, and in fact, they're, they're, of course, they're going to get a huge cut. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If you got a relative that can take care of this stuff, you might not want to have that uh, your estate pay for the law firm. But that's up to you. I, at least with the law firm, you know if things are going to go down the way that you specified and the way that you want. I'm just saying, you know, and uh, at least I think they will. I, 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 I like my lawyer. If you don't like your lawyer, then maybe, uh, you know, because my mom's lawyer was corrupt. You know, I'll tell you that right now. She, uh, she got ripped off, <laughs> and so that wasn't good. How you doing? And uh, anyway, so I just uh, wanted to, to let you know that. Now, what am I going to do with those UB USB drives? I'm going to put all my finances on there for, you know, you know the files, okay? The, the law firm already has hard copies of all of my finances, okay? They, they have to have that. But I'm also going to put the, uh, the magnetic copies on there, and anything else that I think that the law firm might want like uh, a picture of my um, driver's license for example i'll put that on there you know anything that i can think of that the law firm may need in settling my estate you know the the, the information about my foundation which they've already got and they actually know the foundation but what the hell i'll put it on there and some of the stuff was going to go to the funeral home and then i'll also probably mail a usb drive to some close friends so that you know maybe they want i'll get them to watch my death video and get some feedback and maybe I can make a better death video. So that's uh, that's all I wanted to talk about on death. And and that OBS Studio and DaVinci Resolve and how you can make your own uh, you know tutorials. You know the other thing with OBS is you can have your face on the screen and show you know as you navigate around with the mouse and do stuff and make educational videos. And uh, of course you're going to be able, you can probably have to edit it in some fashion. So you're going to have to learn DaVinci Resolve or whatever editing software you want to use. So it's, you know, it's not cut and dry, but it's, I don't think it's going to be that damn difficult. And I think that you can learn how to do it too. So uh, the next thing I want to get into is silver. Silver and gold, silver and gold. I don't know if you noticed, but gold's at an all-time high. Well, 2,100 and... Forty-six dollars or something like that. Good God, or two hundred. I think it's two thousand two hundred and something. But silver is still a good deal. Now I screwed up this week. I was going to pull the trigger. Uh, SD Bullion was offering some buffalo rounds for a buck over spot, and uh, that is a hell of a deal. Because if I do go to sell those buffalo rounds, I guarantee you I'll at least be able to get spot somewhere. So you're only losing a buck per coin so you know immediately by purchasing the coins I'm losing 20 bucks and on Thursday the price was about 24 I don't know 2460 or so well boom I waited one day too long silver jumped <laughs> 30 some cents an ounce and uh, so I I had to buy it at the higher price on Friday but uh, you know that's just a hell of a deal and so definitely keep an eye out at, at SD bullion you know, Miles Franklin, that's a that's another place. They have some pretty good deals, although I find SD Bullion undercuts them with their sale prices a little bit a little bit more, but sometimes you can get stuff at Miles Franklin that you can't get at SD Bullion. You've also got Arc Silver that uh, Gold Silver Pros promotes. So I bought some coins from them and they were pretty good and uh, I like dealing with them. Real nice guy. 
one guy runs the whole operation you actually get to talk to him and uh, he, he's a quite a character I, I enjoyed him very very much and uh, anyway so the only reason I deal with SD bullion is I know I can sell the this metal back to them very easily you just you just ship it to them they'll uh, inventory it and then boom you know you get your money so that's uh, that's how liquid it all is you know a lot of people don't understand how liquid gold and silver are you know so oh my god how am I gonna sell it well if you go into a pawn shop they're not gonna give you squat for it so walking along on my daily hike what do you suppose these guys are check them out I don't want to scare them they're moving on there we go I just wanted to get that on the video all right so I told you we were gonna talk about brainwashing and uh, when I talk about brainwashing you know one of the things today and it just hit me again here I am at Publix and the woman behind the cash register has one of them cloth masks on now if, if you got a cold or something you want to put a mask on that's fine you know I, I don't have a problem with it you know but in her case she's probably working an eight-hour shift if you're breathing and I bet she's not changing that mask every hour I doubt it you know so she's probably got that mask on for eight hours and I uh, you know one of the studies that's been done is, is how we affected our school kids you know because what happens is you're breathing you know you're breathing out bacteria into that mask and if you've, you've got it on for a long period of time there's a buildup of bacteria in that mask that's not good and we found that a lot of kids were getting sick as a result of having those masks on and uh, but how is that you remember the brainwashing you know if we look back and you know we're all guilty of it you know I'm, I've been brainwashed and in, in, in things but the thing is I'm always willing to admit it's like Dan Bongino Dan Bongino got the mRNA vaccine and he says on his show quite often that he regrets that decision but a lot of people just won't admit that maybe that wasn't a good idea I'm not saying it's not you do you if you're a Democrat get the booster till you 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 booster I mean that you do you that's what all I'm saying so uh, but what Dan Ron John Gino thinks that he made a mistake based on a lot of stuff that he's researched after the fact so and and, and, and me also you know I always make huge mistakes <laughs> you know I mean? now I I never wore the mask uh, not saying it's not a good idea uh, you know in some cases uh, like you said if you're sick and you're just gonna have a mask on and you want to go to Walmart and not breathe out because uh, it mainly traps the particles that you're breathing out not stuff coming in for per se uh, and you don't want to get other people sick it's probably a good idea and then you just you throw that mask away when you're done with it because you, know, you might have it on for an hour that's probably okay I'm sure that's fine and I, I imagine it to help protect the people around you to a certain degree I, I don't know for sure I'm not a this isn't this isn't medical advice you know I'm not a doctor I'm just telling you that, that you know these are the things that I've heard uh, from other people on other videos but how you know so the brainwashing that took place at first fight she said you know masks don't do no damn good then he came back and he says everybody needs to wear a mask and then all the corporations everybody was pushing those masks well anytime that you've got something being pushed that heavily and you know and you start doing your own research and you're getting conflicting information you know something's up right it was just like with that vaccine you know I knew well the, the thing that turned me off to it was you had no legal recourse against the pharmaceutical companies if something went awry and the only reason I, I said this in previous videos I had a real bad reaction to that anthrax vaccine when I was over in Kuwait and uh, or and so you know I knew that I didn't want to take another experimental vaccine no way no how because uh, I, I and they told me you know I said well hell I mean you know I'm sick as a dog I said who the hell you know who, who can I bring up on charge I want to sue somebody and they said oh, you got no legal recourse we told you that when you got the vaccine I said well you told me I had to get the vaccine well yeah but you know you still have no legal recourse <laughs> that's, that's how the military works you know that's why uh, all the um, it, you know and here so here's an example a lot of people left the military because they wouldn't get the uh, mRNA vaccine all right so now the military is telling them come on back come on back you know we'll welcome you back in because the recruiting numbers are down and uh, I, I don't know if these guys will go back or not I'd be so pissed off but I guess if you have no other job and you were making a decent salary as a staff sergeant in the in the Air Force with the you know and you liked your job I imagine some of them will go back now 
now that they're accepted without the vaccine. But see, do you see how things changed? And, but a lot of people can't, you know, get get to the fact that that maybe maybe they just need to rethink about things. That's all I'm saying. So there there was another. That was a huge brainwashing thing. The other one was the lockdowns. That was huge brainwashing propaganda. You know, even here in Florida, we locked down for a while. But luckily, we had a team of people with, under the leadership of Governor DeSantis who went out and said, you know, are these, is this, you know, no, never in history had this ever been done before. So that's, a, that's one red flag that should have been going up right there, you know, if you, you know, because I was against it from the very beginning. And, uh, and, and you know, no, no, but nobody's ever locked down a society before. And, uh, and of course, in South Dakota, they didn't lock down. Sweden didn't lock down. You know, so we, we got now, you know, in hindsight, we've got comparisons to see how it all worked out. And there really wasn't much difference between lockdown places and actually the lockdown places did worse with the with the pandemic than the places that didn't lock down. But anyway, I mean, but I give uh, DeSantis credit because at first he was thinking, all right, looking back in history, this has never been done before. You know, maybe, you know, it, just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean it might not be the right thing to do. So I understand, you know, why he did it and said, okay, let's, let's, let's do it and then do our own due diligence and figure out if this is a good or a bad idea. And fairly quickly, they came to the conclusion that it wasn't doing no damn good. And uh, so you got to give uh, them credit. But see, see the brainwashing there. Same brainwashing that takes place with the uh, mainstream media. You know, when you say a batch of lies, how many people do you know that still think, for example, they think... Uh, Trump was helped uh, went to win the 2016 election by the Russians. <laughs> you know, now that's been debunked by multiple uh, everywhere. You know, if if you follow any sort of independent media, but if, if you listen, all you listen to is the mainstream media. Half the nation of the United States still believes that that the Russians helped Trump get elected in 2016, and that was all a narrative that that Hillary Clinton put up, and uh, and so. You're fed these, and that's that's what makes it so hard to get to the truth. Is you're always fed one narrative after another after another. Let's let's get to some recent examples, okay? The the the, the, the big one that just the big two big ones here recently, and I want you to you, know, you got to kind of read through the lines, figure out your own common sense truth, and you know I'm, I'm going to tell you my common sense truth. I'm not saying it is the truth, but let's take the uh, the most recent one, the bridge. Okay, if you watch the video, the ship turned right into that pylon at the last second. Now, what's come out since then? Well, two minutes of the, uh, of the, of the, the recorder that was on the ship is, has been erased, except for some audio from the bridge or something like that. Whoa, doesn't that send up some red flags? Don't you think that, oh man, and then the other thing that, that common sense tells you is the Biden administration came out and said this was not a terrorist act. It was completely an accident. Now, how do they know? How do, how do they know? Because the, the, the investigators hadn't even arrived on the ship yet. <laughs> That's how stupid the Biden administration is. What they should have said was, we don't think it's a terrorist incident, but we won't know until our investigators have time to sift through the logs and, and determine, you know, make a determination. But they've already, said, they've already told the investigators what they're going to find. They're not going to find there, there was anything uh, suspicious about that activity. Now, what's your opinion? Doesn't that sound awful uh, suspicious? And you got to combine that with other things that have happened across the nation. You know, food processing plants going up, uh, trains derailing, uh, you know, uh, all kinds of other instances. There was a couple more that I can't remember off the top of my head. So, yeah, we, I, it seems to me that the United States is under attack. And that was a huge attack right there, taking out that bridge. The other thing that gets me suspicious is, you know, whose hands were involved in that? Think about it. We've been trying to take out the Crimean bridge over in uh, Russia for the last two years. Maybe, uh, maybe somebody said, you know what? Let's take out a bridge in the United States and show them what it's all about. Just saying, just saying. The other thing was the uh, attack that just took place in Russia. Now, the Russians are saying it was the Ukrainians with the CIA backing. I tend to believe that. Because, uh, you know, the, 
the CIA, uh, a lot of people say, oh, no, nobody would be that evil to kill, you know, good God, how many was 140 some civilians, you know, and how many wounded, you know, and everything else. It was a horrific and burnt down the building. How many people burned to death in that building? And would the CIA do something like that? Well, do you believe the CIA killed Kennedy? <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty evil thing to do, don't you think? You know, did the CIA blow up the Nord Stream pipeline, the biggest ecological disaster in the history of the world? You know, I, that's why I love these environmentalists. You know, where's uh, RF Kennedy? He's supposed to be the huge environmentalist. Why isn't he shouting to the top of the rooftop saying, you know, how in the world could we blow up the Nord Stream pipeline and cause an ecological disaster? Where is the Greenpeace? Why aren't they rolling over top of the pipelines, you know, waving banners and posting videos saying, you know, the United States is a terrorist country. You know, they blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. No, you don't see any of these environmental people getting out there and doing anything about the fact. So once again, brainwashing. But a lot of Americans, because they listen to mainstream media, still believe that the Russians blew up their own pipeline. <laughs> I mean, whether you believe it was the United States or Russia, I don't know. I mean, you know, but why would the Russians blow up their own pipeline? Because all you got to do is cut the valve off. You know, you certainly don't need to blow up your infrastructure. Anyway, so the, the lies, the constant lies that come out, it's hard to sift through them. And we're all being brainwashed on a daily basis. The key is to try to sift through it and discover your own truth. That's all I'm saying. Okay, here's another brainwashing topic that I just thought about. You know, the, uh, the brainwashing that we get about the, uh, the war that's taking place in Gaza right now. Okay? Because most of the time, it's just like being called a racist. You know, and to a Democrat, my toaster is a racist. My refrigerator's racist. Uh, everything to them. I'm a white supremacist. <laughs> to a Democrat, you know, because they've been brainwashed. You know, just because you're white, you have to be a white supremacist. You know, I mean, or, or a, you're, if you're white, you got to be racist, right? I mean, you know, that's, that's a given uh, according to uh, to a brainwashed Democrat. But uh, so, uh, you know, I just just throwing out some examples there. But I wanted to get to to the war in Gaza. So, if you're against the mass killing of civilians uh, by by Israel. You're anti-Semitic, right? You're anti-Semitic, obviously. You know, you hate Israel. According, and, and, and this isn't just the left wing. <clears throat> well, actually, the left wing's more on my side of this uh, argument. Uh, but if you listen to, to commentators like Todd Stearns or Sean Hannity or uh, Mark Levin or any of them, they're saying, you know, we got to finish the job. We got to, I was Rick Scott today. Rick Scott, uh, you know, the, the, the senator from Florida. He's coming out and he's saying, you know, we need to continue to back Israel and help them finish the job. Well, what's finishing the job? I guess it's the job, in my opinion, is to exterminate the Palestinians. So if you're for the mass killing of 2.1 million people just to kill, uh, you know, a few uh, 40,000 Hamas soldiers, well, I guess uh, I must be on the wrong side of history, right? You know, but you're being brainwashed. I get You get that constant barrage. Because they don't, you know, you don't hear Rick Scott when he's saying we have to support Israel and help them finish the job. He doesn't say, well, finish the job is to exterminate the Palestinians, does he? How many times do you hear Todd Stern say, we have to exterminate all the Palestinians? You know, when Israel goes in, the way the attack's been conducted, and in fact, some of the soldiers are saying it's kind of inefficient. They don't go into the buildings and clear them. You know, if you, have you ever watched the movies where the guys, you know, they, they come in and they take the guns and they go around the corner and they go, clear! Clear, you know, when they go from room to room to room. Well, that's a dangerous uh, way to clear a building, for sure. But the Israeli way of doing it is they just rig explosives on the building and they blow it up. Now, why are they? And they do it, and they're doing it methodically as they move through Gaza. So they're blowing up every single building as they go. And why are they doing that? Well, because they don't want the Palestinians to have any place to go back to. They want the Palestinians exterminated. The pal and the other thing you won't hear from these commentators is that people are starving. Kids are starving. You know, how? Oh, if you asked Rick Scott or Todd Stearns or I'm not just throwing those names out, any of these idiots on the radio, ask them, you know, how many children do we have to kill to, to get to Hamas? You know, how many thousands? You know, uh, right now, good Lord, I, I can't remember the number. But it's, it's in the, it's, I think it's in the tens of thousands at this point that, of kids that have, have died as a result of, of U.S. weapons being dropped on the, on the kids. And you wonder why Palestinians in the United States are protesting? And, then the, and they call them left-wing radicals? 
for once in my life, I'm actually with the left. <laughs> and see, that's what I'm telling you. You have to keep an open mind, right? I didn't know that the mRNA vaccines were bad. I just knew that they were experimental and I wasn't going to take an experimental vaccine. You know, now I can look back and say, yeah, I was right. I was right. I was right about everything. No, I just knew that no way I was taking an experimental vaccine if I had no legal recourse. Plus, the other suspicious thing to me was how hard they were pushing them. Now, Trump didn't mandate them. It wasn't until Biden came in and he put on the mandates. And then I knew that, you know, and especially how everybody had been brainwashed. There were businesses that, you know, we do will not accept patrons with that who are unvaccinated. You know, fine. I, did, I, won't give, I wouldn't give them my business. Now, luckily, we didn't have a lot of that here in Florida. But I heard that up north... Yeah, there was very, you couldn't fly unless you could prove you were vaccinated. I mean, it was insane, especially in Canada. Oh, my God. I thank God. I, I never knew that Canada would become a totalitarian communist nation. You know, that under Trudeau. I mean, you know, I, I would have thought the Canadians would have stood up somehow. I thought their system had some checks and balances built into it, but I guess not. You know, once you got a totalitarian government in there, there was just no stopping it, which is why I want to stop the Democrats here in the United States from becoming a totalitarian government. All right, I guess that's it. I just wanted to get to that piece of the brainwashing. See how you're being brainwashed on Gaza. Think about all the people that are dying and they're starving to death. Okay, there was 40,000 a month. There's probably maybe 20,000 left, but you're gonna exterminate 2.1 million people, women, children, kids, old people, just to get the 40,000? I don't know, doesn't seem right to me. So I had to pick on something, getting back to brainwashing look at that <clears throat> what do you notice about that that's a hell of a lot smaller <laughs> that's called shrinkflation but anyway I just thought I'd kind of show you some of my yard here this was uh, this was the eight tons of rock that I moved it took me four months and if you look uh, I was going to talk about the solar panels do you see all of that uh, pollen on the solar panels that's cut the production of those by about 50 percent and uh you know, I always try to help you, and uh, I thought putting solar panels on, because right now I got the car plugged in, and uh, I was hoping that I would stabilize my uh, electrical costs. But all I did was create a headache, and it's really not saving me any money. The lease on these is $83 a month, and with that pollen on there, that's another project. I got to get up on the roof and actually uh, uh, power wash those solar panels or pay somebody to do it. And as I get older, that's going to be a headache. But anyway, I wanted to get back to talking about uh, the brainwashing. So, you know, I showed you the cookies. How many times have you heard the Democrats say, oh, inflation's under control. It's only at uh, 3%. It's at 4%, you know, somewhere around in there, even, even if it was at that. And then, of course, you go to John Williams' shadow stats, and we're really at about 18%. And if you've been to the grocery store, as I just showed you with the cookies, you're seeing it for yourself. But what's shocking to me is how many people believe the government. Oh, yeah, if the government says it, it's got to be true. And they say it over and over and over again, and they brainwash people. Just like uh, we're in the greatest economy ever. Do you believe that? That's what uh, the Biden administration keeps telling you, that we're in the greatest economy. The Democrats would have you believe the economy's going strong. Stock market's at all-time highs. You know, uh, you know, we can spend money until uh, forever, right? You know, we're $35 trillion in debt. Uh, and by the way, you know, according to Biden, he's shrinking that deficit, man. He's that, uh, you hear him say it all the time, over and over and over again. The media backs him up. We are shrinking the deficit, you know, and people believe that. And then you go to the debt clock and you're at $35 trillion. So I'm just, I'm telling you, you know, how people are brainwashed. And it's because it's so repetitive and it's said over and over and over again. And even though right in front of their face is the truth. By the way, this is my backyard. Now you can see I need a trellis. This is these baskets didn't work, and so I'm going to be building a wooden trellis to go along here. Just always try to help you. I know I'm getting off on a tangent talking about uh, brainwashing. So you know, look at the evidence around you. That's all that I'm saying. And uh, so here's another project that I had. I put in this rain barrel so that I can water everything. And uh, I did want to show you because I want you to start growing your own food. Grow your own food. Grow your own food. I replaced all this soil in here. This is a blackberry bush, and I wanted to show you this. See the blackberries coming in? Look at that. I'm going to have blackberries here soon. 
And those suckers are expensive. I just went to the Walmart. Oh, and that was the other thing um, with uh, brainwashing. And I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. So I, today I'm at Publix. And I bought, uh, it was two, buy one, get one free. And it was the, I, I hate to, I didn't, I, I boycotted Coke for a long time, but I love their zero Coke. And I, I get them free sometimes when I go to the uh, liquor store and you buy, uh, you know, something and you get a free two liter Coke. And so I went ahead and I said, well, you know, and so I, anyway, the, the Coke zero was uh, buy one, get one free, $7.99. So I said, well, you know, buy one, get one free. I'll, I'll do that. So then I, I bought it. And uh, these are blueberry bushes right here. That's going to be a cucumber plant. i got to build a trellis for that. And then uh, these are the pepper plants. Man, you wouldn't believe how many peppers I've gotten off of these pepper plants. But uh, getting back to the, 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 the shrinkflation, I know I'm all, all, off on tangents because I, I keep looking at my projects. But, uh, I mean, holy moly. I get over to Walmart. The same Cokes are $3.99. <laughs> so my, I paid $7.99 for, for uh, buy one, get one free. And really all that was, it was, it was, it, it, I wouldn't say it's a ripoff, but it's, it's psychological, right? Cause I think, and I'm getting the deal and I wasn't, I, I was just basically just, just paying the normal price. All they did was raise the price up to where if you buy one. And of course they got me to buy four of them because it was, it was buy two, get two free, you know? I, you know, so sometimes I'm as gullible as you are. Oh yeah, two more, two more tidbits of news. Let me get the sun in my face. I, the Russians, from what I saw on X, is they've uh, sent ships into the Red Sea. So you can see we've got the Houthis hitting us in the Red Sea. From what I understand, the Panama Canal's having problems. I'm not sure if it went dry or the Chinese are down there or both. Uh, that's the latest I've heard. So we shut off that avenue of trade for the United States and now we just blew up that bridge uh, with that ship that turned into it that they say is an accident I don't agree and I, I forgot to talk about that for just two seconds is that you know Biden says the government's gonna pay for it well Lords of London had that ship insured so Lords of London's gonna pay off on the insurance so why are taxpayers paying to put the bridge up when all the money's coming from the insurance company just saying you can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.